Hi guys, Christy here. Um, I am here to do my March TBR, my Shoots and Ladders Bookish TBR game. And I wanted to start out by showing everyone, in case you haven't been here, my TBR Shoots and Ladders Bookish version board. And just something I need and I actually am really liking, I love it. Um, but that's my board. There's a start and a finish. And there's, you know, the, all of the ladders, I'll explain again, all of the ladders. If you land on here and you go up the ladder and all of those are mood reads because I love to mood read. That's my favorite thing to do is mood read. And cause I, well, I'm just a mood reader period. And then if I land on top of a shoot and have to slide back down, these are books that I'm not as so much comfortable reading. Like it's just not my category typically, but if I happen to roll the dice and land, just land at the bottom, those will all be TBR jars um, because I've got a lot of books on my shelves that I need to get through. I've got my lovely little TBR jar here. So that's kind of how it works. And I'm only going to do roll six times. I have my trusty red dice here. I'm only gonna roll six times. And if I roll doubles, something I've decided I'm gonna do, then I'll add an extra roll. So before we get started on the rolling and figuring out March, let me discuss February. Now, okay, before we get to March's roll and figuring out what we're going to do, let me show you February, what I rolled in February. These are the ones I rolled in February. Of these, I only have, excuse me, haven't finished this one. And I plan on continuing because I'm, st I'm, Mm, I'm not very far into it, <laughs> but um, I'm enjoying it so far. So I plan on continuing that one. Um, and then also I read The Lies of Locke Lamora, Red, Red, White, and Royal Blue, The Unhoneymooners, and All the Wandering Light. So I will be doing a wrap-up video and telling you my thoughts on all of those. Now, the one book that I did not get to, um, but it's not part of my TBR game, so I won't get a punishment for it, is the Robert Jordan, The Dragon Reborn. So this is just going to stay on my nightstand, and hopefully I'll get a chance to get to it in March. So, all right, without further ado, let's do our TBR game. Before I get started, I also want to mention the books, the many big books that are already in the plan for March that I am crossing my fingers and hoping <laughs> that I get fitted into my TBR game. Um, so the first one is the Santa, uh, <laughs> Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. It's for the elderling along. The, and for March, this is what we are reading. Then, I, for, let's see, sorry, Kaivox and Mika Chi, our book club, book group, um, we chose Middle Game by Shauna McGuire, and that's not a small book. Then, um, sorry, I'm reaching for these. I have plans to read, to buddy read, Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks. Now, Elliot Brooks is a fellow booktuber. She's brilliant and beautiful and kind and has just su such great insights. So I'm really excited to read her book. This is her first self-published book. And I actually pre-ordered this book and <laughs> got it. And then it's massive book. It's like 700 pages or more. Um, 
you know, right around 700 pages. So I actually ordered, ordered it, had it, and it's just, I've never gotten around to doing it. So when Becca from Becca and the Books, she <laughs> mentioned she was going to hopefully get to it soon. I messaged her, messaged her and was like, hey, I've been wanting to get to this really soon too. Um, and so we're going to buddy read it in March. This big baby. Which wouldn't be a big deal, except for my group with Murphy Napier that I'm part of that book club group. We are reading the Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington, Islington, I don't know, but it's also chunky. So I'm really hoping that my TBR game's gonna be kind to me. Also, I'm really super excited to get the Sarah J. Mass, um, her first book in the Crescent City series, her brand new series. I just can't wait for that to come out. And I'm going to devour it as soon as I get it. I, I guarantee you. And I think that's around like seven, eight hundred pages. It's a big boy too. So let's see what the game has in store for us, shall we? Okay, here goes the first spin. And remember, we stopped last month at series already started. So. Here goes. Three. So. One, two, three. That's fun. So the first spin is daughter pick. Okay, so my first roll took me to daughter pick, which means my daughter Savannah, who is she likes reading books too and she has a bunch of her own she's not as into books as she used to be but she will be picking my first round and let's hope she is kind to me so luckily she's here <laughs> you know she lives with me so i'm gonna have her hop on and tell you what she has picked for me <laughs> hi i'm her daughter so, um, I picked one of the ones that I have seen the televised version, and I have read the written version, too. So, um, what I picked was My Hero Academia, the manga. Um, <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorites, um, <laughs> and I've been telling Mom that she needs to get into it for a while now. Basically, it's in a superhuman society where most humans are born with some kind of quirk as they refer to it in the manga and it, so it's kind of the society is now based off of that and there is now an occupation called hero so some that'd be kids, fun job most kids aspire to be a hero so there are schools dedicated to being a hero and so this is about a kid named midoriya who goes to one of those schools, <laughs> um, and it's, um, it's got a lot of plot, it's very fun, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can do that, it's a small manga. Yeah, but if you like it, there's a lot more that you could read from it. True. There's, well, there's a lot. I've only there's... ever read one manga series, and that was Orange, and I loved it. She didn't even finish it. She didn't read the, like, uh, what was it called? The, the alternate ending thing. thing. I haven't read it that. It wasn't necessarily an alternate ending. It was just, oh, yeah, in the other time universe, this is what happened. In other words, alternate ending. No, it's just it's just the original I, ending. I am <laughs> nervous. I don't, I, I don't know if I want to know. I'll read exactly. it eventually. Yeah, you should. You really do. You really need to. She did. She devoured it. <laughs> she, well, actually, Orange Volume 2, like, I, I read Volume 1 and immediately, as soon as I finished it, ordered Volume 2 and said, Savannah, you have to read this. You'll love it. And she did. <laughs> she devoured it. And so then we took Volume 2 to Washington and Oregon with us on vacation, and she devoured it on the plane. And then while we were there, we went to Portland <laughs> to um my brain's not working the big bookstore there uh, i don't know don't ask Starts me with a p i think with a p i don't think so 
I don't remember. Maybe that's Powell's? Portland. Powell's, Powell's, yes. Powell's. Thank you. I got it right. I, I know it started with a V. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Powell's, and that's one of the things she was like, Mom, look what I found. We have to get this. Oh, that and so, Witchbuster. Witchbuster's great. We bought those at Powell's. And then she devoured it <laughs> on the plane ride home. So um, she's been after me for a long time. And I just recently finished Orange Volume 2 and loved it. I think in January, actually. But now I just don't. I don't know. I'll read it. I'll read it. I mean, like. But so for this month, though, My Hero Academia. Volume one, vo yeah, volume yeah, volume one. one. Yeah, no, I'm gonna start you off with volume eighty. Well, I didn't something. know if that's what they were called was volume one when it was just like the yeah, yeah, not like a bind up of them. It's volume. I don't know if it was like episode one or something like I don't, <laughs> it's I don't know. <laughs> that's this thing called webtoon that has the episodes. <laughs> okay, so for my first roll, da, 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 my Hero like Academia it would, it would manga, be more like season, Savannah. Like episode one through five or You've something. met my child, Savannah. Hi. My youngest, my baby. All right, say goodbye, Savannah. Bye-bye. All right, I'll be, I'll be back with the next roll. <laughs> okay, roll two. Twelve, and it's a double roll, which means I have to add another roll. So let's see where this takes us, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Quest. Alrighty. Quest is my second. So roll two took me to quest. And Guess what fits into Quest, you guys? I'm so excited. The Shadow of What Was Lost. That fits into Quest. <laughs> Quest is pretty vague, but it says, as Destiny calls, a journey begins. <laughs> I'm taking it. I'm not for sure what this is about, in all honesty, but it's a big, chunky book, and there's got to be a quest in there, right? Like, listen, if I'm way off and there's zero questing, like, eh, please let me know and I'll, I don't want to cheat. I mean, it's my game, my rules, but I still don't want to cheat. So, book <laughs> two is Shadow of What Was Lost, but I'm excited that I got it fit into my TBR game. So, <laughs> on to roll three. Okay. Third roll. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, and it takes me up to mood read. Fun. Okay, so far so good. Roll three, I hit the ladder, and I got mood read. So, guess what I'm gonna do with mood read? I am gonna read Peace and Turmoil with mood read, because I'm gonna be in the mood to read this. I've been so excited to read this so i know i'm going to be in the mood to read it at some point in the month and that's all that matters right mood read am i cheating a little bit i don't think so i think it's mood read that means i can pick whatever i want right and usually you just kind of pick based on your mood but since i've got so many books listen if for some reason the mood strikes me and i want to read something else like you know a rare romance which doesn't happen or a classic or a, just something that I don't have on my TBR I'll do that instead and use it for that like I, I won't cheat I promise but so far so good I'm counting it right now okay okay fourth roll oh are you kidding me another double so ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Standalone. Alrighty. Okay, roll four took me to standalone. Listen, it's it's kind of working out this game because guess what's a standalone? I had to check, but middle game by Shauna McGuire. So my book club pick was Kai Vox and Mikachi, and I'll link. 
Kyvox Enders channel down below because they're amazing. You should check them out um, and sign up, be one of their patrons because we have the best conversations in their chat, in our chat group, in their Discord. So, Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. And this, this sounds really cool. I guess it's an adult book. We're not 100% certain if it's new adult or adult. But it's about these two twins who were created in a lab, it kind of sounds like. And the guy that created them, it sounds like they tried to keep them apart, but they've got some kind of connection and are bound and determined to find each other. And goodness, I'm not ever using this new mascara again. Anyway, the guy who created them is like bound and determined to like help, have them help him become God or something like that. I don't know. But it sounds really good. So, I mean, like, for the first four rolls, I'm pretty happy. Rolling doubles doesn't necessarily make me happy, but we'll get to that. All right, on to roll five. Okay, so fifth. Please, no doubles. Come on. Nine. Let's see. One, two, three, four, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, now, as you re might recall, I landed at the bottom of the slide, so that does not mean this one, that means this one, which is TBR jar. So, I will pick from my TBR jar. Okay, this is my TBR jar. So for my first TBR jar pick, there's lots of books in there. Let's see. Oh, do I have one or two? Come on. Let's see. The Last Magician. The Last Magician. That is my first TBR jar pick. Okay, roll five took me to one of those bottoms of the shoots. So it's TBR jar. And as you saw in my TBR jar pick, it was the, the last magician. Um, I've been wanting to get to this for a while because I've seen it, you know, over the last couple of years all over booktube and it's a lot of people's favorite. I actually have, I think book two also. And from what I understand, this is about, um, current day magicians or mage mages that they, they kind of hide it's there's not a lot of them and it's not a, a wide thing and that there's a bad let's see they become trapped by something called the brink which is a dark energy barrier that confines them to the island of new york and if they leave that island they lose all of their magical abilities well insert this young magical girl who can travel back to the I think this is 1902 is when she can travel back to I guess she can travel back in time period and she's been uh, figuring out how to be quite the th little thief and she goes back and steals artifacts and I guess there's an artifact in 1902 that can give them the power and the tools to take down this brink but in 1902 there's somebody called the magician who's powerful and in 1902 magic was everywhere and it's a very dangerous time. So I guess she has to kind of balance the two, you know, current time versus 1902 and what, what she's supposed to do. What's the best thing for her. But, um, it, this is not a small book. Let's see. 500 pages on the dot. So that's fun. 
my, um, all, my first little kerfuffle. That's all. We're doing good. All right. On to the sixth roll. All right, sixth roll. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Looky there, another TBR jar. Holy cow. Okay, for my second TBR jar pick. Leviathan. Leviathan. I do not remember what Leviathan is about. Lord, let's hope it's small. All right, that's it. Okay, the sixth roll, before we get to the two that I have to do extra, I landed on another TBR jar right here. So, the TBR jar came out. I picked something out of it and out came Leviathan. Leviathan by Scott Westerfield. And I don't have any idea what this is about at all. It looks like it could be a middle grade though because there's like pictures in it and stuff. Like there's, and the font's big and, um, I mean by the pictures it looks like it'll be fun. But I don't have a clue what this is about. And I kind of, I mean, I like the kind of dystopian look that the cover has. So I'm just going to go in blind. I don't even think I'm going to read the back. I'm actually kind of excited to read this. It looks kind of cute. All right. On to the last two rolls. The extra ones. Okay. This is my first extra roll. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mood read. Well, so I've gotten two TBR jars and two mood reads. Okay. Roll six was mood read. And again, I think I'm going to try and, you know, put books that <laughs> I'm planning on reading into that. Uh, again, though, if... I'm not in the mood and I feel the mood rise to read something else. Like I've got um, Never Tell, that little middle grade that actually I was supposed to read last month, but it came just not too long ago, so it's too late. I've been kind of eyeing that. It's on my nightstand. So I might pick that up instead. Um, we'll see. We'll play it by ear like I'm supposed to, but I might be able to, you know, use that spot for this. All right, last and final roll. Okay, my last extra roll. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy cow, are you kidding me? My TBR game has been very kind to me. Mood read. From my last one, mood read. Now that's eight books, but still, mood read. Last roll, I got the ladder again. So I got another mood read, three mood reads. That's, that's pretty good. Like, Ward was kind to me, I think. Again, same thing, I will really try to just pick up something that I'm in the mood to read. However, what I'm the most excited to read is the new Sarah J. Mass book, the Crescent City, the first book in the Crescent City series, and I can't remember what the name of it is, but just a few days, y'all, I'll have that book, and it's now officially a part of my TBR. I have to read it. I mean, I don't have another choice. So, that was, that's pretty good, I think. Hang on, I'll show you. Okay. Here, here, here it is. I can't even fit them all in there. And imagine breaking my hand. Imagine another giant book at the bottom. That is my TBR, y'all. I'm kind of excited, although I'm a little terrified also. 
We'll see. We'll see how I do. I still have to finish. My dog wants in. I still have to finish <clears throat> this one of Ice and Shadows. Cooper! He does not like that the door is closed and he's out there and we're in here. He wants his mama. There, there she goes. Um, anyway, of Ice and Shadows, I still have to finish. Hopefully I can, you know, crank that out. Maybe tonight or tomorrow. I um, will talk more about how well I did in February. I think I did pretty good. I, think I read nine, nine books and an eighth. <laughs> nine and... Nine and a quarter, maybe. Let's just say nine and a quarter. We'll go with that. Uh, and that's pretty good for me. Um, I do... I, I was sick for a week, like, just laid up. So, um, with a real bad, awful, like, head and chest cold kind of thing. Um, and then a couple... No, I guess it was last night I fell. Um, I'm having some... You know, I've, I've explained how I'm having these, you know, problems with my health, but it's been making me very dizzy and I was washing my hair and, um, went to kind of back out and dry it and I completely went, everything went dark and all I know is I hit hard on the bathroom cabinet, landed and hit my head really hard and kind of saw stars and, um, immediately wanted to throw up and my oldest was like you need to go to the hospital and I said no because <laughs> I'm I just don't want to go to a hospital there's all all those germs there i no I, there's nothing I could do I, I imagine I've got a concussion I've been pretty dizzy and just feeling pretty rotten but I'll be okay you know people hit their heads all the time I'll be all right uh, the other stuff I'm more concerned about, so this and nothing. Anyway, that will do it for my Shoots and Ladders bookish TBR game. Like, listen, I hope that you guys are enjoying this. Um, I know some of you are making your own, and I love that so much. I've seen um, some since I made mine, and that is called snakes and ladders and it's over it seems like it's a british thing maybe it's a different version of a board game they have there ours was always shoots and ladders but um i you know i love all the tbr games but so next time we will start right there and i think that's all folks i hope you enjoyed it please if you want to buddy read any of these with me um holler at me because you know I love to buddy read the um, as, again the assassin's apprentice is the elder ling along I believe is how it's pronounced and you can check that out on Becca the book Becca and the books her channel and I'll link her channel down below um, I'll try and link the um, her video that announces this and all about the Robin Hobb, you know, his whole series, the, the read along that's going to be going on for quite some time. So that, I think there's like a Twitter for the elderling along. So everybody can read that together if you want in March. And then of course there's Kaivox and Mikachi. You go to Kaivox Ender, I will link their channel down below and if you want to you know if you like them you want to become a patreon in the discord even if you're not in the discord chat um we do they do every friday at well it's like six o'clock my time i think um a live feed where we all kind of talk and then there's a live feed for everybody to discuss the book so it's not just for patreons anybody can read it and discuss it um, so if you want to read middle game, middle game with our group, go check their channel out. Um, subscribe to them. Also, if this book interests you, which 
it should. Um, go check out Elliot Brooks, her channel. And she's got a lot more information on her book than I do. But I'm so excited to read this. And I, I, she has the paper book out paperback book out now she has lots of artwork for the the different um characters and the like little the monsters in there it's she has the most beautiful art and then again if you want to read shadow of what was lost with a group then murphy napier over at her um discord murphy napier um check out her channel i'll link her also um I just have found such great buddy reading groups and like, I guess they're more like book clubs. Um, and I love these people. Everybody in this community is so great. And even though like we don't all like have the same opinion, but I find the most insightful information from so many people. And I'm like, oh gosh, I didn't actually see it that way. I didn't think of it that way. And it kind of makes you see things in a different light. And I... I love it. Sometimes I'll go back and reread parts or the whole book um, based on like how other people viewed things. If I wasn't liking it, somebody can convince me to go back and, you know, reread. And then I'm like, I see it a whole different way. And, you know, on the flip side, sometimes I'm enjoying it and I'm not seeing kind of some of the flaws that other people are seeing. And then when they point them out, then I'm like, oh, I see that now. So, um, I think book clubs and buddy reading are just a fantastic part of our community. So I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Chat with me. Hit me up if you want a buddy read. I'll put my Instagram down there, my Twitter, um, or just message me down below and let me know if there's a book that you want to buddy read. And I'll buddy read. I love to buddy read. Anyway, have a fantastic day and month and I will be uploading some reviews very soon. I've got to learn how to shut up. <laughs> Have a great day. Oh, enjoy video of my grandbaby. Hi Violet. Hi. With everybody, this is my granddaughter Violet and she is four years old and she is brilliant. Yeah. And she loves reading books too. Mm -hmm. And I'm really smart. You are so smart. What is your favorite book? Mm, my favorite book is my frozen book. Your frozen book? Do yes. you have a favorite type of book? Yes. Is it like princess books? Do you like to read about princesses or animals? I like animals? to read about fairies. About fairies? Mm hmm I like to read about fairies, too. Mine are just mean fairies. Well, I like nice fairies. You like nice fairies? I don't blame you. Let's see. What? Pause, please. Oh. Okay, now that you've gone pee, are you ready to ask, answer more questions? Okay. You're fixing to have a baby sister. Are you going to read books to her too? Yes. You are? Uh-huh. What are the favorite books you're going to read to her? I think I'm going to read stories to her about princesses. About princesses? I think that's a good idea. You're my princess. Or All I right. could read books to her at her about babies about babies that's a good idea too okay tell everybody bye bye